What's going on there guys? Good afternoon. It is the Earthmaster here on the uh, live stream with an update video on this uh, Sunday, December 26, 2021 date, about 11, 11 a.m. California time, of course. A lot of earthquake activity ramping up overnight along the western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire and uh, just had an earthquake around the Greece region originally coming in as a 5 point or a 6.0 looks like it has been downgraded to a 5.5 according to the EMSC let's go ahead and check out uh, some details here on the map here as you can see the latest earthquake over here around the Greece region a uh, now it looks like they downgraded it even further to a 5.4 at least up here according to these folks about 15 minutes ago uh, there's the 6.0 uh, preliminary earthquake notification on that uh, Crete Greece earthquake struck uh, about 10 kilometers below the surface in this region of the world where that purple circle is the USGS does not have the uh, I don't believe they have the earthquake uh, that just struck up here yet they did have some earthquake activity prior to that earthquake just coming in right now looks like some fours and fives we've seen a trail of deep earthquake activity yesterday and today including a super duper deep 6.1 earthquake at 639 kilometers below the surface that's uh, some significant large deep movement uh, taking place in that area all that activity kind of migrating its way to the west and throughout the plate boundaries over here where we're seeing the activity kick up tonight uh, this activity I kind of want to point out here along the Northern California coastline is irrelevant uh, they're still showing the 4.0 and the 3.3 from two days ago even though they have the date as the 26 these are not uh, from today or even yesterday in fact they were from two days ago uh, they have not been reviewed yet of course the uh, USGS folks I'm sure we're enjoying time with their families and whatnot uh, this is just an automatic status and I believe if the review if a seismologist does not review the uh, uh, earthquake data the system the preliminary earthquake data system continues to put it out each day uh, until it gets notified uh, and reviewed by a seismologist so this activity has not taken place today or yesterday but two days ago so technically, if you want to look at the data, uh, we haven't had anything. But then again, that could be uh, because of the lack of personnel uh, data uh, reviewing people, um, which have not been, uh, you know, of course, looking at the data to approve it, I guess. So awfully quiet throughout the North American continent. Uh, hold on one second here, folks. Okay. I'm almost done with my cold, my cough, whatever it is, it's getting there. I'm starting to get my voice back, but I still got some uh, upper uh, sinus like congestion and all that uh, fun stuff. So, going to have to wait to see what's going on over here. I do know a lot of times uh, activity over here to the west, some deeper movement does contribute to quiet spells here along the west coast. But uh, some of this activity uh, is a couple days old and they're still showing it from today. And I'm sure there's activity missing from the West Coast. Let's see if the USGS has, yeah, there they go. They have included that 5.6. Uh, originally, like I mentioned, came in as a 6.0 in the EMSC area. As far as their agency goes, 10 kilometers below the surface. This area gets some deep earthquakes and also some large activity as well. Kind of pulled up the map from, uh, well, from past 100 years or so and you can see uh, a lot of sixes and some sevens in there and whatnot for this area of the Greece area and the Sea of Crete so activity here uh, very typical for some larger magnitudes but this one here down to a 5.6 still got to be on alert here folks for all the activity this deeper movement that we've been seeing kind of work its way over in a funnel fashion and an arrow up around uh, this area we did see some for uh, some activity as well in the Indian Ocean uh, the mid Indian Ridge I should say that was from yesterday last night 5.1 striking 
in that portion of the world. But uh, let's look at some of this activity. 122 kilometers for some of this activity throughout the Indonesia region. Some deep movement around the Philippine plate as well, up around the Japan region. I've seen an 88.2 uh, kilometer deep, uh, 4.9 here along the trench. A little bit shallower earthquake activity uh, within this region here of the uh, subduction zone. But then again, I still think uh, I still think with this further deep movement and further pressure here to the west, uh, we still very we have to watch this area very closely up here around the Japan region. I've been saying that for a couple months. And I think uh, this one here is pretty primed for a pretty large earthquake above 7.5 in this area. Uh, West Coast, like I say, this is kind of an iffy one right now uh, due to all the earthquake activity striking in this region of the world. Uh, let's go ahead and check out uh, nothing going on in South America, right? A lot of relief and movement of pressure going over here to the west. Uh, but like I said, you can scratch these earthquakes off here off the northern California coastline. Uh, inland into the North American plates, a little bit of movement around the Kansas area, 3.9 uh, in Kansas at 5 kilometers. And Pecos, Texas, seeing a little bit of activity around the uh, south of the, the uh, New Mexico border, 2.6 around the Guadalupe Peak area. Southern Cal California, not a whole lot of movement. Like I say, it's hard to... Uh, uh, figure out if this is just lack of USGS uh, data or indeed this is a, a major relief of pressure along the west coast due to, to the, to the uh, earthquake activity here to the west. Man, it's hard to, uh, it's, re it's really hard to talk when you got congestion uh, beyond uh, manageable, uh, like a manageable cold. It's really hard. But hey, at least I have a voice. That's the main thing. Uh, creeping section did have some movement here overnight right around the San Andreas Fault the creeping section seen a 3.3 near Pinnacles 6.1 kilometers and a little bit deeper activity inland on the North American side of the plate boundary 2.2 um, .2 at 11.7 kilometers uh, so no doubt activity continues the question is how much is really uh, not showing up here on the map Let's check out Yellowstone real quick. I don't believe Yellowstone's got any activity kicking up. It's always, uh, it's been quiet for a while, folks. Not a whole lot of movement. A little spike of an earthquake here near Maple Creek. That's going to be this earthquake here. And a little one, looks like another one. But overall, uh, things pretty calm there at Yellowstone National Park. The trimmer map from last night, still zero trimmers. Uh, we'll check this out a little bit later on this evening. See if there's any adjustment uh, with the Cascadia subduction zone in the trimmer down dip area later around 6 p.m. Uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, not a whole lot of movement uh, going on out here, at least on the West Coast. Let's check out the Solar Weather Department. And it uh, looks like maybe a sea flare getting ready to ramp up here. The threat level has dropped down a little bit on the uh, potential for the solar threat. Only 80% chance of sea flare. X flare has dropped down to a 1% with a 15% chance on the M flare department. Although we got a lot of sunspots, I guess the uh, dynamics here are not specifically designed or set up for a massive flare. But there's flaring nonetheless. Just got to keep an eye on it because things can change in the blink of an eye. All right, guys, I'm going to get off here and uh, clear up my uh, congestion. I've taken a super hot, steamy shower and uh, maybe drinking some hot coffee. We'll see if that helps. Have a good day, folks. Be prepared. Stay safe. We will chat you guys a little bit later this evening.